This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is April the 1st. It, this is not an April Fool's video. Uh, the title of the video is correct. If you're thinking that the reason why you're watching this video is because Roman Abramovich, who owns two super yachts called Solaris and Eclipse, which are both in Turkey right now after fleeing sanctions that were put on him by the UK and the US and Europe, um, that's not what's happening. It has been actually determined today that Roman Abramovich owns two more super yachts. The island of Antigua has recently joined in with the EU, the US and the UK in sanctioning Russians close to Vladimir Putin, right? So if you don't know already, Antigua is a very popular destination for super yachts. There's always a lot of super yachts laid up there. Amadeo was there until very recently. Anyway, they have now joined in with sanctioning and there was a super yacht docked there called uh, Moti Yacht Garçon. And they were, they, they suspected that this vessel might be owned by Roman Abramovich after an article in the Financial Times. The Financial Times had been talking about this, saying that they, they, they believed through an investigation that he owned a, um, a company in the British Virgin Islands called um, Wenham Overseas Limited. Um, they found out that a pl an aircraft that Abramovich owns was also registered at that same um, company. So anyway, the, uh, the Antiguan government or the Antiguan authorities, they asked the UK for help. And the UK did indeed supply Antigua with definite proof that Mr. Abramovich owns these vessels. So as we make this video, the vessels have not been arrested uh, as far as I'm aware, but I'm sure they won't be given permission to leave if they try to at this moment. Like I said, there are two vessels. Uh, the first one is called Motiot Garçon, the 67 meter vessel, uh, and it was built by Damon Yachting. Now, for the people who have joined the channel in the last month, in the month of March, for these videos about Russia and sanctions, I'm gonna introduce you to something that you won't believe when I tell you, but there is such a thing in the super yacht world as a support vessel. It is effectively a super yacht that is for support only. So the, the, the owner of the yacht, so, so let's say in this case, Mr. Abramovich sails along in his 440 meter motor yacht Solaris and in tow will have this other vessel, motor yacht Garçon, the 67 meter, will follow him around everywhere. And the reason why they do this is because when their main yacht becomes too small, um, there's not enough room, they build a second yacht which becomes a support vessel and they put their helicopters on it and their cars and the uh, jet skis you know quad bikes whatever you want to put on there they can even have it like hyperbaric chambers if they're divers or they can have medical facilities if they're paranoid or if they're you know ill health whatever like that so this is what these vessels are for um yeah it's unbelievable isn't it they have a full crew they are built and finished to a super yacht standard. So he, if he has a party, for instance, that he doesn't have room on the main yacht, he can put guests on the support vessel and they will have everything they need uh, on that vessel, full service, everything. Um, and that's what this vessel is. Now, the, the previous owner of the vessel was uh, a Ukrainian businessman and his name was Yuri Kosoik. And he owned a vessel called Motiot Ace which is, I can't remember off the top of my head, it's about 85 meter uh, yacht. And he, and he had this support vessel. Now he was building a new vessel and he put both of his vessels up for sale. And Garçon sold last year, I believe. Uh, and, but nobody knew who had bought it. But anyway, like I said, it's been discovered that it, was, it belonged to uh, Roman Abramovich. Now, interestingly, when I saw the first article by the Financial Times, I looked at the vessel in Antigua and, it, and I, on marine traffic and I clicked on the vessel and it, sh and it shows, like you can see here, it shows uh, Motiot Garçon. And then right next to it was another vessel called Motiot Halo. And this vessel is also owned by Roman Abramovich. And uh, Halo is a 55 meter valued at $38 million and was originally owned by Australian billionaire James Packer. 
and uh, the, the rough value of Garcon is a, approximately it was on it was for sale for 24 million last year uh, but the value of it apparently is 20 million dollars so Roman Abramovich does have other yachts he does it for when he wants to be a bit more incognito um, he can use a smaller yacht because everybody knows you know Solaris or Eclipse he also has been known to charter other yachts as well when he really wants to be uh, off the radar so he'll charter a boat send it to a place and he'll join that boat and nobody knows he's on board Antigua I'm sure they're about to uh, they're about to seize these vessels or arrest these vessels should I say as part of the sanctions against Roman Abramovich there is another vessel that did belong to him I don't know whether it still does it was it has been up for sale it's called Susuro it's a very fast vessel it does like 40 knots I believe and it's been in um, it was be, it's been in Cannes in a, in a marina in Cannes for years it was in La Ciota in 2018 having worked on it was damaged in a fire uh, that was on another vessel in the south of France and then it was, that was all repaired and the vessel was up for sale uh, I don't know if, it, if he sold it it is in La Ciota right now actually um, I don't know whether he owns that vessel but um, I'm sure someone uh, will know if that's the case anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there like I said it's a, a, a impromptu video tonight um, but anyway guys uh, thanks very much for watching um, have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you soon bye bye